And I added, and I hope you won't take this personally, that it makes stupid, sorry, it makes intelligent people say dumb things. If you're telling me that on singing a ditty, it says that Jesus loves all the children and this must mm -hmm. be black kids, that 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 had a real effect on your mind, I'll have to take your word for it. But I mean, I can't believe that it, that such a thing was necessary for you. And I, I, I like think you do yourself old. no favor. I was eight years old. I guarantee you it did. It was, it was, it was the, uh, I would say, benign use of the indoctrination of a child. Well, then you're going to have to accept all the Christian churches that said there are no black people allowed into this church and God separated the sons of Shem, Ham, no, no, and no. Jacob. No, no, you see, again, you have to it's accept not them. the If you're going to take credit for one, my dear, you have to accept the responsibility for the rest. Christopher, and I'm really sorry, I, I, don't, I, actually, I actually don't really believe your story. I don't think that that came as a revelation to you because there's no such person as Jesus. He has no particular attitude towards children, except he thinks people should leave their families and follow him. Um, they and, didn't stress and, and, that. And I would say, by the way, I, okay. I would say, by the way, denominating those children by color in the hymn is a bad idea to begin with. So, but why not just say he likes all the children, even though he didn't? Christopher, when you say I have to accept the bad with religion with the good, I do because remember, uh, my I'm not arguing that religion is more good than bad. You're the person with the burden well, no, of I'm showing, not clear to see what it is you and, are and this explains I mean, why you're straining in these yeah. cases. Well, no, you're the one with the burden of showing that religion always has bad no, effects. That's not, no, my burden actually isn't that. My burden is that everybody knows what I think and also how, and I keep saying it again and then giving, I think, ever more beautiful and uh, elegant illustrations of it. But, but it's very difficult to argue with someone whose position is not disclosed. You don't tell me whether you think religion makes people behave better or not. You don't. You I'm have balanced? said. You have said you don't believe in the supernatural, but you. I'm not clear what you do think. You don't have to think anything, but it's very difficult to go around with you when I don't know what your your views are. Oh, I've been, I've tried to be uh, as clear as I can. I I think um, that uh, in both my book Non Zero and my book The Evolution of God, I've argued uh, that a there is a a moral direction to history along at least one dimension. Um, and I, I won't get into it, it, it uh, 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 even ex to bother explaining what the dimension is. B, I think uh, that it has some of the hallmarks of purpose in a way that doesn't necessarily imply the existence of a conscious designer, intelligent being, God. Could be that there's a God who set it all in motion in a kind of deistic way, mm -hmm. but my view of history itself is materialistic and doesn't appeal to intervention or anything. In any event, I, I believe that there is a moral direction to history that uh, helps me orient my life and in that way uh, provides some of the sustenance that religion provides for people. So maybe I'm religion, yes. e religious even though I'm agnostic on the question of whether there's some being behind it all. That, in, a, in a nutshell, that's my position. But it could or could not be the case. Well, I mean, I, I don't quarrel with that, but it's hard to argue with. Um, I, think, well, no, I, think, I, I think, by the way, if you can, I've, of course I've looked at your book about the evolution of God. And um, I should tell you, I mean, I've, I've had a, I, I say it in my book as well, I mean, my, the hardest thing for me to give up when I stop thinking uh, like a socialist, not entirely stop thinking like a Marxist, but when I, I found I, I couldn't uh, make it match observable reality anymore. The hardest thing to give up is teleology, is the idea that the future can be better or, mm -hmm. or, or will be, or, or simply in some way ought to be, that we are on... Mm -hmm that our own evolution is an upward curve rather than just yeah. a blip. It's very, very difficult for a human being to give that up. But if you, if you think what you just say, you thought, uh -huh. um, I have not the, given the, it up. The, the collapse of European civilization into barbarism in the 20th century and the enormous role played by religious superstition in that collapse, uh -huh. um, the Counter-Reformation, the, the number of times that civilization was on the march in Europe and was retarded terribly by faith, by the Inquisition, by the Crusades. Yeah. By the, yeah. It makes it to be absolutely impossible for you to say that religion has been anything more than slightly modified in its barbarism by the well, achievements of science and by, and by the exercise of ordinary well, humanistic morality. Well, first of all, although my belief is that religion does about as much good as bad, my, my argument about teleology doesn't presuppose that at all. They're unrelated. And so I, I don't want to bore well, you with it, but this is not relevant. You mean the evolution part has nothing to do with your belief in the innate goodness or badness? That seems to be a hard separation to impose upon yourself, but that's, that's, that would be your choice. Uh, I didn't hear you say Anyway, how, how, is the, how is it to be quantified? I mean, for example, if I say what I'm sure of, which is that millions and millions of children's lives have been stunted and, and, and poisoned, to 
point for it by yeah. being told they'll go to they're going to go to hell if they play with themselves or if they become Protestants or, as the case might be, Catholics. I mean, but I, there's no way of quantifying how much harm, how much misery that's done, is there? I, I mean, you, we can we can sometimes do we can sometimes that. do body counts of things like the Thirty yeah. Years' War and so forth, but it's very very crude. We don't have a means of quantifying the evil that a religion has done. It's very hard. It's very hard to quantify the good. Now, in your book, you generally ignore the good and only focus on the evil. So it's extremely hard to do it in that circumstance. But you know, we we uh, I waited too long to, to get to a subject. I think we should at least glancingly touch on because it's my motivation really for challenging your claim uh, that religion is an is a, I think an overwhelmingly universally bad thing or however you would put it, which is that that, that I think it leads you to a very counterproductive view on um, foreign policy. It leads you to think that the enemy uh, of, of good is religion per se, that the source of conflict and terror is, is, is so often religion per se, as opposed to underlying circumstances uh, that I think give rise to it. Um, an example I often use uh, is Israel-Palestine, where I think you would agree with me that as an historical matter, the tension there, the conflict there, began in a pretty secular context, right? I mean, the subsequent religious radicalization on both sides is indeed subsequent. And what seems to be the prime mover here is an argument over land. Uh, so, No, I mean, actually, I, I, I'd like to share the premise with you, but I can't, because the, the claim in the first place, uh, but, but admittedly it was a fairly secular Zionist movement that Herzl founded, but the claim that they were, they were returning to the land is a claim to land that is supposedly awarded to them by God, who right. neither you nor I believe is involved in real estate. Um, the, the opposition to it would have certainly been there if all the Palestinians were atheists. They wouldn't have wanted right. a Jewish colonization or any other kind. Right. Uh, but but, it, but as it happens, it's made impossible to solve. By the, by the opposite claim that, yes, God does give land. Of course, we agree with Zionists and uh, rabbis about this. It's just that he, it's Muslim land. It's, so that, it's part of the lost Ottoman uh, Muslim caliphate. Um, and, remember. of course, no Jews or, or unbelievers are allowed there. So what could have been if it was a territorial dispute solved with a two-state solution that the majority of people want a long time ago is made completely insoluble precisely by not the deists, but the theists, the people who don't just believe in God. They believe God takes their side. But you got to remember, I mean, you, you, you say that the original Zionists appealed to the Bible. That's true. But, but, but they were essentially secular. They appealed to it as an historical document. They which it, which to it, it isn't. That's the last thing. It well, is. no, of course it's not. But the point is they didn't. Their argument was not, by and large, this proves that God wants us to be here. It was, damn it, we were here first. The kind of argument that secular people can have. And, in fact, a very conscious decision was made in the founding documents of Israel to make no appeal, um, if you read the Hebrew fact, as opposed to some me, of the translations, uh, me, Robert, to make no but, appeal to divine me, sanctions. Excuse me, Robert, the Bible does not say they were there first. They had to clear out everyone else who lived there, the Canaanites. Well, they were there before the Arabs. Well, um... There, were, there are no Canaanites yes, in the, the first, fight today, the, okay? Earlier, earlier doesn't give you any, uh, any special right. Well, that's the way it was, that's the way it was deployed. These well, were not it, people anyway, who are, are, whether you know it or not, divine sanctions. Whether you know it or not, you're still making my point. Everything they do, they justify either by the, the Bible as either the Word of God or a historical document, and you, you and I both know it's not As an historical document. What? Yeah. They were appealing to it yes. as an historical but, yes, document. Yes, yes, but, but it isn't a historical document any more than it's the Word of God, unless you disagree. And you don't think that's exacerbated the situation? No, I, I, th I think it was false history, but my point is their motivation was not religion. They, again, as people do, they found whatever convenient was okay, convenient. Okay, so, the, the, so, the settlers, so the Jewish settlers who moved to the West Bank and steal other people's land are doing it because they think they have a historical claim. Is that what you're really saying? Wait, what did you, I didn't hear that, I'm sorry. The Jewish settlers who moved to the West Bank yeah. And steal other people's land and build colonies on it. Yeah. That now amount to the size of suburbs. They're doing it because they say they have a, a, a properly legalized historical claim. You know very well that's not what they say. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said it indeed as the, as the conflict festered, it became less nationalist and more religious. But but the idea that the religion is the underlying cause is the religious belief is now a big problem. I don't deny that. Uh, Funny I that it should come. Believe. Amazing that it should come from nowhere. What? Amazing that it should come from nowhere. Suddenly they're all religious in Jerusalem. 
I mean, 